The world has lied to you. You won't find happiness, satisfaction or fulfillment through cheap pleasure. Look around you. Look at everyone who embraces cheap pleasure. Do they look happy? Do they look fulfilled? Do they live the life that you want to live? You see, here's what the world doesn't want to tell you. If you want to build anything great, whether it's your mind, your body, your business or your life, you need to suffer. You need to challenge your mind and body daily. You need to make it think, sweat, want to quit and then keep going. But this requires discipline and not just any level of discipline, a level of discipline that 99% of people will never reach in their lifetime. But this, my friend, this level of discipline is how you will find the answers to all of your problems. So I've decided to break down the crucial steps that are required for you to reach this level of discipline and self-mastery that will allow you to reach the heights that you want to reach and build anything you want into something great. Whether it's your mind, your body, your business, or your life, these are the steps you need to follow to master discipline. Now first, to build discipline, you need to understand what it is. Now everyone has made discipline out to be some sort of mystical force that only the top 1% of people get to use. It's not. Discipline is actually something you're very familiar with and likely something you've built before. It's a skill. It's something you can build through deliberate practice and a few little known techniques. And you've built skills before, from learning how to tie your shoes, to learning how to write, to even something more advanced, maybe something like coding, video editing, copywriting, or lifting weights. The skill of discipline is no different. If you can build one skill, you can build any skill. So discipline isn't some esoteric force for a select few people. It's something you can build. So how do you build the skill of discipline? Well, when it comes to building discipline, there is one technique that will change everything. It's the ultimate way to hold yourself accountable and to hold yourself to a standard that you're proud of, a standard that is necessary to build anything into something great. And that is crafting your competition. Now, what do I mean? I don't mean to go and find somebody, whether it's online or someone you know in real life and use them as your competition. No, it's much more powerful than that. You need to take out a notebook, a journal, and start to write about your dream self, your ideal self. And you need to write every detail about them, from their mindsets, to their habits, to what they do in the weekend, to their evening routines, to what their relationship with nutrition and training and daily challenge and how they view success in the world and money and business, what their physique is like, how they spend their days. You need to be meticulously detailed and write about as many areas as you can. You need to write about the dream version of you. Everything about them is perfect and they have no flaws. This person is the person that you're competing against at every moment. So when you feel like skipping a workout, you ask yourself, what would your competition do? Would they skip a workout? No, they wouldn't. So you don't either. Would your competition sleep in and spend an extra hour scrolling their phone or would they get up and demolish their most important task of the day? You do the same as them. The goal here is to beat your competition in every moment. Your competition is the most disciplined person on the planet. They make Goggins look like a little girl. And your goal is to compete against them and take every action that they would take. And that brings us to the next step of building discipline. You see, even when you're competing against your competition, there are going to be days where it's easy, days where you'll be disciplined with no problems but there will also be days where it's tough where every fiber of your being is telling you to not be disciplined that's normal because being disciplined once is easy anybody can be disciplined once right but being disciplined day after day for years that is what separates the winners and the losers so you have to understand that you will face resistance an internal feeling that tells you not to work out that tells you to skip the work block that tells you to spend more time scrolling your phone and not to work resistance is nothing but your inner bitch trying to tempt you trying to beat you and discipline on the other hand is the art of facing resistance head on pushing it out of the way and doing what you need to do whether you feel like it or not. If you don't understand that you will face resistance, when resistance comes knocking on your door, and it will, trust me it will, it will take you by surprise and you will give up. But when you expect the visit from resistance, when they knock on your door, you're ready. It can't knock you off your feet, it can't surprise you because you expected it and you understand that this is a part of being disciplined. You have to face your inner bitch, push it out of the way and do what you need to do. You see, this is the thing. Everybody can win on a good day. Everybody can win on their best day. But it's those who can win on their worst day that build something great. Plus, remember your competition from earlier? What would they do? Would they let their inner bitch and resistance win? Or would they tell them to fuck off? 
Now here is where the skill part of discipline comes into play. Most people when they try to build discipline mess up for one main reason. They jump right into the deep end. They try to be David Goggins and run 100 miles at 4am on their very first day of trying to be disciplined. But remember, discipline is a skill. You have to build up your skill level in order to do the harder, more challenging things. And how do you build any skill? You don't just jump right into the deep end and try to do the hardest part of that skill. You start small. You learn the basics and you build a solid foundation that you can use to support yourself and then over time you challenge yourself increasing the difficulty and increasing the challenge to match your skill level you don't just jump in you see there's a concept called the challenge skill balance when a challenge you've set is too far above your skill level you get frustrated you get angry and you end up quitting when the challenge you've set is too far below your skill level you get bored it doesn't stimulate you enough and you end up quitting but when the challenge is right on the edge of your skill level it's enough to push you to your limits and activate what's called a flow state a state of effortless effort when you jump right into the deep end of trying to build any skill including discipline you get frustrated you get angry because you can't do it or at least you can't do it for a prolonged period of time and you quit you never have the opportunity to build your skill of discipline. So to build your discipline, to build the skill of discipline, you need to do hard things. You need to challenge yourself, but you need to treat discipline as the skill that it is. So here's what you need to do. Every day, you need to do one thing that you don't want to do that challenges you. Whether that's taking an ice bath, whether that's hitting the gym, whether that's doing a morning work block, whether that's spending less time on your phone, or maybe even it's going to bed on time. Do one thing that you don't want to do every Every day this week and then next week add on one other thing that you don't want to do and the next week you add on one other thing that you don't want to do and you repeat this process with every week you're upping the challenge by doing another thing that you don't want to do building your skill of discipline all that matters is that you get it done regardless of how you feel and every week you're leveling up your skill of discipline and of course after six weeks after eight weeks you'll be doing everything you'll be doing all the good self-improvement habits you'll be reading journaling meditating working out doing deep work taking ice baths you'll be doing all of that and that's fine at this point you can now use this level of discipline that you've built over these weeks and the idea of your competition that we discussed earlier to carry this discipline into every area of your life from not cheating on your diet to spending less time on your phone to improving your focus to not procrastinating to building your life into a life worth living into something great the main thing here is that you put yourself through mental and physical challenge by doing something that you don't want to do every damn day and carry this skill of discipline that you're building into every other area of your life and that my friend is how you master discipline you craft your competition you understand that you will face resistance and then you challenge yourself by doing something hard that you don't want to do every damn day starting small and increasing over time but here's the thing about discipline discipline is only the tip of the iceberg it is only the first step to achieving self-mastery unlocking your true potential and smashing every goal you set and if you want to learn how to finally get out of your own way find fulfillment and build something great click that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video